Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Verse 2. Honor your father and mother, which is the first commandment with promise. Now, I don't want to talk about the promise today. Very important. Verse 3. That it may be well with you. I'm here to talk about the benefit of honor. But I'm not there yet. That it shall be well with you. And you may live long on this earth. Your longevity is not in the hands of God. Is in is hidden in the mystery of honor. So see children who disrespect the Lord. Hey, 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 my my, my, my bushy, hey, hey, you better answer. So I'm taking you somewhere. First Peter chapter 2, verse 17. Today is the longest day. I'm preaching almost 11 o'clock. And I have to be fast and get out of your way. Honor all people. Honor what? I couldn't hear you. Honor what? All people. Love the brotherhood. Fear God. Honor the king. I'm here to deal with this scripture properly. But today I think I will deal with the first scripture. So that I will, I'll be able to get out of your way quickly. Ladies and gentlemen, may I start teaching today by saying that Every sin on earth is a sin of dishonor. Every sin, every sin on earth is the sin of dishonor. And everything right on earth is executed through the means of honor. Every sin on earth is the sin of dishonor. And everything right on earth that is executed is executed through the means of honor. When we consider the Ten Commandments, we realize that the first four deals with honoring God. The first four deals with honoring God. And the last six deals with honoring people. Honoring people. The first four deals with honoring who? I couldn't hear you. Why are you looking? Come on, talk to me. Honoring who? And the last six deals with honoring what? People. So it is a crime for you to say you will honor God and dishonor people. It is a crime for you to say you do what? You honor God but you dishonor what? people. So honor is different from wisdom. Honor is different from wisdom. What is wisdom? Wisdom is the recognition of difference. Difference. Uh, uh, wisdom is the recognition of difference, right from wrong, good from bad. Am I communicating with somebody here? Good from bad. Um, good idea from bad idea that is wisdom what will work and what will not work that is wisdom but listen to this Ra righteousness and evil God and Satan it is wisdom that, that, that does that now, now let me show you but honor is the willingness is what the willingness to reward somebody for their difference I told you last week for their difference and so, this person is a shoemaker, but I am the owner of the shoe factory. Without the shoemaker, I cannot, despite my wealth, I can't get it done. So, the shoemaker is not less. The shoemaker is also blessed. The difference is that if all of us are at the same level, uh, then nothing can be done. So, somebody must be positioned somewhere to serve somebody, and somebody must be positioned somewhere to serve somebody. So, if you have to go far in life, you must learn how to honor the low and the high. Clap your hands if you can. I'm teaching. Sometimes you will see the way people will talk to people as if they are God. And I pity those people, they won't go anywhere. They will send a message. 
And you see the way they address you. You don't even feel like replying the message. The law of honor is the most important law on earth. It's the most important law on earth. And I'll prove to you, if I love God, I honor God. If I love people, I honor people. And Jesus said, I have divided the entire commandment into two. Love God, love man. And so if I honor you, I respect you. Your, your, your level in life is not a reduction of my honor to you. If I can only honor you when you have what I need, then I am one of the most hypocritically defined species on earth. I saw somebody in Nigeria. The person looked like a dwarf. I've never seen someone like that before. Very, very short. Very, very short. And he looked and said, like, like the person is grown. And everybody was passing. And I just went and I said, you look amazing. I like your dress. Are you old or you are young? He said, I am old. And I said, wow. When I grow up, I want to be like you. I don't want to grow up to be too tall so that my back will be like this. Then she said, oh, for the first time, somebody has recognized that my height is a level of disadvantage. Sometimes the deficiency of people today can be their sufficiency tomorrow. I'm teaching you something. The way you are talking, you are not talking to me. Talk to me. Uh, and I know who I am. Would look at the future of those models? Yes, it's true. And look at those people who are also acquiring it Who is here? So everybody enjoys and later something. So they are praising you to the tomorrow. They will praise the other person also. So enjoy your difference. Honor is not anointing. Honor is not what? No, no, no. Enye, enye mwasera. Still the same thing because they receive the spirit, but they don't deal well with the people that the spirit will use to bless them. Very important. A miracle is not an anointing, a miracle, uh, nor an answer to prayer. It is your personal choice. Like you will honor people. It's a personal choice and decision to celebrate the distinctive difference in another person. When I came and I was launching the book of my son, Minister Benjamin, I came that if I even meet one person, I will make his launching to make a difference. I am the general overseer. General overseer. If others are not seeing, will you become general overseer? So it is, it is the means for you to be more humble than other people. Because you are the chief servant of everybody. Everything that happens is you, they come to. So you were a servant. I arrived this morning and I'm in church this morning. If I were to be a member, I would have maybe said, Charlie, I just traveled, came home. Oh, look at the way I'm tired. I woke up around 3 a.m. in the morning. I slept around almost uh, 1.32. So that means it's one hour. So whilst I was here, I had to go in and then let um, Thelma use uh, cold water, put in a handkerchief. Let me put on my head so that my head will cool a little bit to be a blessing to you. You don't have to go through that for me, but I have to go through that for you. So guess what? Every time I speak God's word to you, I am honoring you and I'm honoring the God who sent me. Give God a clap and praise in this house. 
And so, take me to the next listen, please. So, you, you must be able to understand the difference. The difference. Now, there is a reward or punishment for honor or dishonor. You cannot wake up and then think that everything you, you can dishonor somebody and go scot free. I was wondering why David saw Saul and refused to kill him. He refused to kill him. And I said, ah, ah, Saul, go and kill him. The guy is looking for you to kill you. Go and kill him. David said, sir, my problems are more to bring the problem of an anointed man to on my head. So I don't want God to fight. If people are fighting me, God will fight for me. But if God starts fighting me, who will fight for me? Apostle Lincoln, let Saul go. God will deal with him, not me. It's a mystery. It's a mystery. Everybody in this church by next year, be, when you begin to get this message properly, I see all of you excelling on every side. Ah, so my Rita, that is what God will do in your life. The way you jumped up and said amen. May God do it in your life. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Very important. So the honor of God, man, and material financial resources, parent, principles are the five dimensions of secret of honor. I will talk about them. But I will talk about three today and get out of your way. And then we will continue later. I have many things. The Lord is speaking to me about honor that has changed my heart and changed my life. Watch this. When we talk about honor, we are saying what is your ratio as in the honor of God, man, your attitude in the honor of material resources and your attitude in the honor of your parents. Your parent, both your spiritual parent and your biological word parent. I heard somebody told me, eh, and I said, why? He said, that woman never took care of me. He, you know, the way my father was buying me things. Look, you, you, you were a joke. A woman that carried you for nine months. And somebody will say, tell your prophet to tell you, your mother is a witch. It's true, some women are very terrible. And there are people who are deeply witches. That is not a joke. But, but, but are you really a Christian? No, look at me. Are you really a Christian? If you're a Christian and they are telling you somebody is a witch, what, why should that be your problem? Because the Bible said you shall cast out demons. And witchcraft is a demonic system. And God has given you power to cast, cast them out. Why are you running away from somebody who is a witch when you have the power to deal with them? This is the reason for our struggle. So you won't talk to your mother again. You don't take care of your mother again. Eh? Witchcraft is it a human being? Witchcraft is a spirit. And you carry the Holy Spirit. The, the, the spirit above all spirit. So what you got to do, that in the night, take care of her in the morning. In the night, stand up and deal with her, her spirit. And command that spirit to come out. Am I communicating with somebody here? But don't disrespect your mother. Don't disrespect your father. Because you have money. And sometimes the people who have money that misbehave that way, they behave sheepishly and stupidly. A woman who have carried you for nine months, they tag her as a witch and you are happy. One prophet who have never seen shishi. You are more powerful than a witch. So if somebody is a witch, God is telling you the person needs help and you should be the one to help the person. I'm, I'm showing you new mysteries. Watch this. So the honor of God does not translate into physical inheritance. When you honor God, it does not mean that you honor God, you come to church. You come to church because you want a car, you want a house, breakthrough like Nemeshe. When you come to church, you come to worship him. And he increases your spiritual capacity. But when you honor his servant, he prospers you. It's a mystery. So the Bible said, believe in the word of the Lord and ye shall be what? Established. 
He said, believe in his servant, the prophet, and ye shall do what? Prosper. So God does not prosper. The oil on the man of God is what prospers you. Hmm. Is somebody catching me now? Are you sure you are catching me? So sit down. I'm, I'm teaching small. I'm teaching small. So prosperity is the tangible translation of kingdom promises and prophecies. If there is any, any way God can translate your promise, God can translate your prophecies into prosperity is on the vehicle of honor. Until there is a man to honor, forget about your rising. Because wherever you want to rise to, God have to use a man. And if you are disrespectful and dishonorable, there is no way a man can even decide to listen to God. Because you see, God can speak to a man, but it's a man's choice to listen to God or disobey God. That is one thing God did not take from man. God did not take the power of choice. So he said, I've said before you life and death, but I am God. I advise you, choose life so that you can do what? You can live. You can decide to choose death and you will do what? And God cannot do anything. As powerful as God is, God cannot do anything about it because you decided to choose to die. May you never commit suicide. Many people have dishonored some people and they committed suicide. When your honor, when you honor physical men, the language changes from I will be blessed to I am blessed. Why, why, why did I say that? Anything God wants to give to you, he gives you in the form of a promise. So your life is like a check. But you still have to go to the counter to cash. And it's a man that will cash it for you. The money that God has put inside the account. But they can tell you network problem, network problem, network problem, network problem until they are closing. And network problem, you did not get your money. They can, I've been at the bank before. I've been privileged that when I go to banks, I don't join queue. Both in America, in London, and in Africa. But the beautiful thing about this is that sometimes you'll be there and you will hear the manager say that that man has come, that cost trouble a man who does not respect. Let him sit there. Leave him there. And I realize that and they will say, oh, that man, take his check. Let's cash it and let him go. Because they realize that this person is nice. This person is very proud. So he is delayed because of this honor. Not because he doesn't have money in his account. So you read the Bible. The Bible said in Ephesians chapter 1 verse 3, it says, Blessed be the Lord, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings. So everybody here is blessed. But why is it that all of us don't feel blessed? It's because the one who is the blesser, the carrier of your blessing is not on it. Yeah. Yeah. You will have confession with possessing when you understand the honor of man. It is incredible. I was reading the Bible in the book of Luke. And I'm preparing something from there. Please take me to the next slide. Who is there? You should understand. When I finish, then you move. Now watch this. And I saw that Jesus grew in the favor of God and with the favor of man. So as much as we need God, we also need even Jesus, who was God, God, or Yanyame. I love that song. Needy, need Jesus. Or Yaminyonko. Or Yanipa. Na, or Yonyame. And you know, when it came fresh, it is not on Yanipa, no Yonyame. No. Or Yanipa. Now, so so, or Yanyame. He is a man, and he is also what? God. Yet, because he was a man and God, he needed man and God to succeed. 
Wave your hands. Who is learning something today? So every man of God sent to a people is a gift of God to that life, to that person. He is a gift to that person. When there is no honor for man, there is no time frame to your promise. And I'll prove to you. God promised Abraham and said, I will make you a father of many nations. Abraham was very happy. God changed Abraham's name. He was very happy. Changed Sarah, Sarai to Sarah. She was very happy. Yet, they did not have a child. Until one day, they met Melchizedek and gave one tent to Melchizedek. And watch what also happened. And they gave him tithe. And they gave him wine. And they gave him bread. And after Melchizedek activated the God of El Elyon, and he said, I came here with the El Elyon God. And I want you to know whatever promise God has given to you is delivered. Can you imagine? He took Melchizedek to make manifest that which God confessed. It will be done. So God cannot guarantee your stability here on earth without the honor of your earthly parent and spiritual parent. In honor of God, your spirit must establish five things and I will share three with you today and then I will be done. Who am I blessing already in the house? Okay. Now honoring his name. Honoring his name. Honoring his what? His name. What's your note? What's your note? I'll be watching all the quiet people your notes written today. Honoring his name. Watch this. The propagation of the name of the person you honor is very important. I've been to places where I've seen somebody, I was sharing something with the person, the person didn't know I'm a, a man of God, and then he goes to Christ's embassy and starts sharing some things with me and mention the name of, of his pastor and everything, my pastor, my pastor, my pastor, my pastor, he's very anointed, my pastor, my pastor. Why? The person I've never even met a man before. He's never seen him before. He's not bought chocolate for him before, her before, or him before. But he has been made to understand that honoring the man God has called is to add color to your own life. Very important. Now, so everything you need is in the hands of men. The honor of the man sent lifts you up. And today, if I'm a man sent by God and there is an honor in your heart for you, may God lift you up. May God lift you up. I say, may the Lord lift you up. And wherever you are being kept from today, may today be the last day you'll be where you are. Your testimony shall be sequential. Your testimony shall be progressive. Today, you will not be rich and tomorrow you'll be poor. May God cause you to progress in every area of your life. Lift up your voice and shout amen like a believer here. Honor. Sit down for me. I'm teaching honor. So your man of God is called. But your job is to lift him. Who called him? God called him. So let's say God called Alice, stand here. Yeah. Alice, face this way now. <laughs> so God has called Alice. And when God called Alice, he called, come, come, come. That they should, they should be around Alice so that where Alice is going, Alice can get there. But as Alice is going, they will also be going. So if Alice is going forward, no, do, do, do it with me. What, what are they doing? So something happened and one of them said, no, Alice should not go forward. And he started dragging her back and Alice started going back. 
Where, were they? where are they going? So when you honor the grace upon your man of God to move forward, the same oil from his head of Aaron will come to the beard and will rest at the skirt. Can I hear you say amen to Jesus? Be seated. I just want to do this. When you hear people insulting men of God, don't be part of it. My young kid in I would come. I will come. We are no sons and no social. So for you, you mean? As my work in you, so you know, Koro, so you know, Koro. One of them did the wood. Kick, 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 kick. I will put a church in. I will, and I'm looking fancy. I will not church him. Something happened to your boss. You don't have the full information. Now you have become an informant against your boss. Somebody will also rise against you when you are up there. Uh, I'm teaching. So anytime the man you honor is lifted, victory is secured in your life. Your life is also lifted. That is what Jesus said. If I be lifted, say me who me Jesus, say who pay me a matching a crane in our mammy home. I will draw all men unto myself. I am incapacitated in drawing people to the realm of relevance if I am not honored. You serve your biological father food and you are standing. You will still go and marry and you will be serving your husband food and you are standing. And you are saying, ah, Papa, Papa, what are you talking about? I'm telling you, it's not a crime to honor. I met Funsho Alakija. I had the conversation with her. And she told me something that amazed me. The richest black woman on earth. She said, ah, Papa, do you know till now, if I'm around, I am the one who cooked my husband's food. And I serve my husband kneeling down, even though I am the one who is a multi billionaire and he said nobody has been married for the marriage to, to, to be safe in the family I decided to put my riches aside and humble myself and serve my husband that honor has made her the longest marriable species in the family it is not your prayer that will secure your marriage so sometimes you will hear people in the night I bind my husband every strange person you yourself, you are disrespecting this man. Even that prayer you are praying for him to hear is a disrespect. Because you are not praying to man. You are praying to God. Why are you, why do you want to pray it loud so that he can hear? George, ask me It's very... Every, every, every strange woman every strange woman by fire my husband belonged to me oh sister there were many women but you are the one he married if you can honor him whatever pushing him out will bring him back honor him am I teaching God's word are you sure I'm teaching at all yeah there are people there are women with plenty money looking for a man to call a husband but they don't have that opportunity you mistreat your husband and see dishonor the person and see if you kneel down and serve me water. Kneel down before your husband and serve him water. If you are not clapping, I'm very angry with you. Clap so that I can be happy with you. Yes. And I will show you why. Because your husband is your father. 
But I am not there yet. I'm here to get there. I will teach you the mystery about it. Why the Bible said a man should leave his mother and his father. For a woman not to leave. But a man should leave. Naturally, who leaves? You miss it. Naturally, who leaves? The father and the mother. Who leaves? And come and stay with the... But the Bible said a man shall... One day I will show you the mystery behind it. So if you are not pushing anybody, your life is not honoring God. May God help you to push people. Some of you have the ministry of bringing people down. May God deliver you. I say, may God deliver. You don't see anything good about anybody. Everything, every time there is something about somebody, ah, may God deliver you. May God deliver you. People are not always perfect, but there are good things in everybody amplify the goodness of their life and help them to manage their weakness and bring them out of it they will thank you tomorrow for the rest of your life clap your hands if you can am i teaching at all in in working in honor you must celebrate the man god uses we must do what? Celebrate the man God uses. Anywhere you see God moving, honor has been exalted. This is a place where sometimes, Reverend Rita was talking about it today. You will see that they said, everybody stand up, lift up your hand. And some people will be sitting. Why should I stand? Hey, God's house. And if you get to work and your boss says, stand here, you will stand there. But your creator say, stand up and lift your hand. Let's worship your maker. It's a problem. Yay. I don't want to say anything. But you think about it. Let us dance. And then you are there like this. But you, you've gone to club before. You, before you became born again. Some of you, me, I was not privileged to go to the club. But I know when I go to heaven, I will join the club in heaven. You did not say amen here. Are you here at all? And when you go, the way you were booking and dancing, all your whole body will be sweating. You will be, I mean, in some guno asking in our selling in heaven. You came to church and come and dance. That's why you do like this. You want to behave gentility here. Meanwhile, you, you know how you dance. So you went to the devil and danced very better for the devil. You came to the house of God and you will not dance like David. And let even your cloth come out. And they say that, hey, this, this guy can dance. He danced out until he found that anointing. That's what I'm talking about. Am I communicating with somebody? May God give you grace to be dancing. I don't like, may God give you grace to be dancing. May God give you grace to be dancing. It looks like there is only few people that come here to dance. And sometimes I look at myself and say, Hey, son, go from Kayo, what you saw them? And they're bad, they're bad, no more. Yeah. So stand up. Let me see how you are going to dance. Now, you are just going to play. You see, I told you to stand up, and you are still sitting. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, just play something. And let us see. Nobody is playing a song. But I want to dance for God. All those things you have done before somewhere. Do it here today. I give you only... <laughs> eh, then it has been crazy before. Eh? <laughs> give the Lord a shout in this life. My friend, play something. Do this. 
can dance like this. You, you can dance like this. May God give you grace to be dancing like this. So tell somebody I have repented. I am sweating for God. And I'm very excited about it. Can you give the Lord a clap of praise in the house? Yeah. Yeah. You don't want to sweat for God. Papa, don't worry at all. My makeup. Your makeup and your maker. Which one do you choose? Choose your maker. So if your makeup will disturb you, wash your face and come and dance. When you finish, you go and put the powder back. Can I get can I hear an amen here? So I'm going to finish in the next 10 minutes. So follow me a little bit because I want you to catch this today. The second one is honoring by command. Honoring by command. When you turn leadership wishes to command, you live in honor. Like you hear that, oh, I wish if I get a car and you have the money to do it, my wishes are translated by your honor. It's a mystery. I wish somebody would go to the campus for us to start a campus meeting. And he said, Papa, I just started a campus meeting two weeks after. We are waiting for you to come. We are now 10. We want to come and launch it. That is what I'm talking about. When you turn leadership wishes to command, God does not reduce. God does not reduce. He only reduces when men when he sees this honor. Do you know God created in, in, our, in his image? But he turned somebody into an animal. Do you remember the person's name? What is his name? Nebuchadnezzar. Why? Dishonor and pride. Made God turn his image to become an animal. And many people physically have not become an animal. But they treat you as one because you live in dishonor. May, 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 may it never become your portion. Honor is when the word of my mouth becomes a command to somebody that we are coming for all night. And everybody said, We are coming to pray to God. We are coming for Friday service. Everybody said, I don't joke with my Friday service. I don't joke because it's a prayer time. I don't joke with it. Like you don't joke with your work. I don't joke with Tuesday teaching service because I want to know God more. I don't joke with it. It becomes a command. And you say, God, I want to do it. I live far, but Lord, give me money because I want to know you more in the place where you have planted me. Can I hear you say amen? amen. Hebrews 13 verse 17. A very serious, important scripture. Obey your spiritual leaders. And do what they say. I'm not the one who read the Bible. I'm not, I'm, I'm not the one who wrote the Bible. He said, obey your word, spiritual leaders, and do what they say. Their work is to watch over your souls. And they are accountable to God. So, so <laughs> it's a mystery. I, Apostle Nkum, that is standing here, I'm accountable to God for your soul. And it's a very serious responsibility that God should not give to any man. Because even me myself, I'm, I'm struggling to take care of me. Yet, he will bring your soul that I should teach you his ways to nourish your soul so you can know him better. That is why this is not the place that we say that 24 hours we are going to get a miracle all the time. No, it's when we are doing a program or something. But when you enter here, you have to gain access to know God. For you. For you. For you. For you. Why? Because their work is to watch over your souls. And they are accountable to God. Give them reason to do this with joy and not with sorrow. 
give them the reason to do the work they are doing with joy but not with sorrow I have been through things in ministry that have almost shut my mouth up you will lift people up and they will carry stones with them whilst they are going up then they will be knocking your head whilst you are down He said, give them. I mean, I tried to come to church early. Even today, immediately I arrived, I quickly changed and came here. Please listen to what I'm saying. Very, very important. And came here. If I change in a car, will you be surprised? Say, give them a reason to do this work with what? With joy. And not sorrow. So many men of God are pastoring with sorrow. Pain in their heart. Because of the attitude of the people whom God has put him in charge of their souls. So we can say, Mr. Miyemi, you say, Sanyanyamisiobe I was shocked. There are Jesus, there are people. I said one some smile. Oh I was smart for Paul said that a and I'm asking, ah ah, why am I for me obi. There are people they can push you to the wall. Me, I've been pushed to the wall, but I decided to remain at the wall without talking. Because when God fights for you, it's better when you fight for yourself. This message is not the message I am supposed to preach. But you know why I'm preaching? Because I'm very confident. Yeah. That would certainly not. Oh, he said, watch this, he said, give them reason to do this with joy and not with sorrow. That, that would certainly not be for your benefit. It will not be for your benefit. But when there is joy, it is for your benefit. May God use you to bring joy to the leaders of this ministry. It's not only me. Eh, eh, Papa around Anna. Prepare to cry. And there, and there, and there are for it. I will not go to church because Papa is no. It is when your father is not even there that you have to leave everything to come and watch that his back is okay. Am I communicating with somebody here? Because this church is not my church, and I've said it over and over again. My my name is not in everything. Even the account, my name is not in everything. Anything. This church is not my church. This church is our church. We are building this church for us, for our children, for our children's children. It's our church. I am just opportune to be here to serve you. But the church belongs to Jesus. And on earth, it belongs to all of us. I am just opportune to lead you. I want you to know that again today. Because a man who owns something, eat from it. I don't own it. I don't own it. Commitment to command. Today we said that all the love community just should meet me after. You will see some of them will give excuse and they will go after. They won't wait. Wishes to leadership is the greatest way to honor. God said we are going for prayer meeting. The Lord said we are doing this. The Lord said we are hosting somebody. Everybody is around so that 
their pastor would not have sorrow. One day, I came to church till 10 something. Only two seats here was full. Two seats here was full. I just knelt down here and I said, God. So with all this thing I've gone to do around the world, I have filled stadium. I have gathered half a million people in Utupo, Nigeria for my own crusade. I have filled stadiums. Doing your crusade. Why, why will you tell me to come to God? I was very angry. I was kneeling down. People think that. And I was crying. That I just want to hear a command. Your time in Ghana has expired. These people will never see my back. Because if, watch this, you don't honor what God gives to you, God will take it and give to somebody. If you think I'm joking, go and ask Vasti. How had this honor to Kinahasaros became an advantage to Esther? He said, dance for me. You say you will not dance for me. You are fired. Ordinary human kino. Samami. What's the I say, eh. It is over. That is how Esther came in. Wanya Bonibiao. He did not commit phonic adultery. He did not steal the guy's money. He just dishonored him. And he said, it's over. When wishes don't become command, it is dishonor. All the car people are meeting. Then they have started the meeting. You are down there drinking ice cream. Dishonor. Church has started. And that is when you leave and go downstairs and start doing discussion. It's dishonor. When you stop listening to God to carry your phone and go and listen to a man, it is dishonor. Because you have more time to talk to men you have more time to talk to people. The few time you have to listen to God and talk to God too, you want to leave God's presence and go and talk to a man. Think about it. Just think about it. I'm teaching you. Honoring with your substance. But it's not like the one I shared with you the last time. I felt in my spirit that this is very important because the person you honor needs the material act of your honor. You see this ministry, I realize that people think that, people think, oh, maybe Apostle Nukum has money because sometimes we say, hey, come take this, come take this. Maybe he has money. <laughs> the people that enjoy grace from a man of God are people that sow into the life of the man of God. How do I know that? Philippians chapter 4 verse 19. Paul was talking to the Philippine church and said, that look, there are many, many things I've seen you people do for me when I went to missionary field and I did many things. And because of those things you did for me, he said, my God will supply your need. He didn't say God will supply. Watch this. Look at it. He said, and my God, now this is like a, a singularization of divinity based on his encounter with God. So he was expressing it based on his own encounter with God. And look, I'm not talking about the God we are all mentioned. I'm talking about the God I have encountered because you have helped me to fulfill God's assignment for my life. Watch what he said. And my God shall do what? Shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Now, if you read verse 1, you will understand why, how, why he said that they sponsored him to go to Macedonia. Are you listening to me? And because of that, his God will supply their need. Never think that the ocean is full of fishes. If not, Peter will not go for fishing and will catch nothing. There are times when the oil is dry on the head of your father, he might not be the one to pour the oil on his head. It's a mystery. I don't want to decode it today. Please, um, I've, I've already warned that person there. This is the last warning. Now, anywhere God goes, honor follows. 
in the place of material honor, you facilitate the ministry of your man of God for generational impact. A lady just stood up in a Pastor Chris church and said that anytime God tells you that you have to do a crusade, come and tell me, you do the spiritual one, I will take care of the finances. May God lift all of you financially. I will take care of the finance. I will take care of it. I will take care of it. So Pastor Chris is Pastor Chris because of a woman. Church of Pentecost is Church of Pentecost because of Mama Siribua's family. They sold their gold. They gave to the church. And look at where the church is right now. Everywhere in the world, if I am not opening my eyes, I will say, apart from redeemed Christian church of God, he is the most richest, most blessed, and most spread church around the world. Apart from redeemed Christian church of God. Yeah. Yeah. A woman, one woman, helped Apostle James Michael. And that is where they are today. Do you know how far your seed can go? Do you know how far your commitment can go? Do you know how far your prayer can go? Do you even pray for your pastor? Wow, what a word. What a word. Somebody shout, what a word. Wow. The, so a donor without honor is a destroyer of what has been donated. Do you understand what I said? First Corinthians chapter 13. If I give myself to be bent, are you listening to what I'm saying? I am listening to what I am saying. I am listening to what I Sometimes I wonder, somebody can be in church and he's sitting around somebody they don't talk to. I don't know how comfortable they are. What has the person done to you? You cannot even forgive the person. Are we not one family? Then you put the person inside your heart. Who will come and never tell us what can be actually? I call it a mad time in a pan, and that's how they say it. In, in this, this guy, the way I've timed him, eh? the way I've timed him. If she, he step on my in church, yeah, yeah. Mark a camera, you know, open one of them, me, 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 I like Fanti. It's very nice. What do you think? Okay, so I, I want to run up so that you can go home. So the higher you go in life, the greater honor you must accord to God and his servant for sustainability and longevity in your place of assignment. With your hands here. So honor increases your demand to respect and your respect validates your future prospect. Write it down. Honor increases your demand to respect the higher you go oh may i never dis disrespect anybody here may god help me that i will never disrespect anybody here deliberately or undeliberately because of where god has put me but even where, where god has put me may god give me grace to honor everybody here the rich the poor the tall the short the fat the fair the dark the, 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 in, in, in every circle of life may God give me grace to honor people you did not say amen are you learning something today I told you last two weeks I said the reason why people get fired easily from church and from, from work is because of this honor boss the professor and why you me be not not the mammy. Be not yes no so that we could equate my way. Um panka we jai. Be naughty is the pin not that you are still there 
at the workplace and you are talking about your boss like that then your boss hears and look at you twice and said I'm waiting for the CEO to say we need to lay off only one person this guy must go Ghana must go are you listening to what I'm saying <laughs> let's pray for Ghana because so that God will help us tomorrow I almost died in my hotel room with Patrick during Portugal match. And Patrick helped me. He said, Papa, don't worry. This one should not go anywhere. It's not going anywhere. I said, okay, Patrick, are you sure? He said, Papa, I'm telling you, it's not going anywhere. Patrick helped me not to get hypertension. He man knows me. So he man called me on phone three times. Papa, please take it easy. Please take it easy. Take it easy. <laughs> uh, I pray for you today. May God give you the grace to honor. May God give you the grace to honor. Sit down for me. I'm running up, so you have to catch it. If your presence does not give your man of God a rest, then you are not walking in honor. Yeah. Your presence should give him rest. He should, he should feel like you are around. And even if he's not around, things will be okay. Because you are also you are around. You are this person you are around. That person you are around. It gives the person that leverage. When you give your man of God, you are not doing him a favor, any favor. Rather, you are opening the doors of your destiny. Why? Take me to the next. You can't enjoy the fullness of what your pastor carries until the honor you give him is full. These are not normal messages they preach in church because it's difficult even to prepare it. But we are preaching it. Now, dishonesty is the bedrock for dishonor. Obi Abenu say, "Oh, oh, dishonor Obi Abenu or a dishonest." People don't appreciate good people. Oh, are you coming to see me? Okay, then you have to bring a, a 500 Ghana City Express. Yeah, VVIP, 1000 Ghana. Eh? VIP is what? 500. And you join the crowd, 250. That one, you are taking the card, you are joining the crowd from morning to evening, 250 Ghana. And the rest of them, 100, 100 Ghana. That one, you will stay there till the following day morning. Yeah. You want to see me? Oh, come to the office. When, when, oh, I'll be at the office at this time. Come. And your father can sit down with you and talk to you, not take anything from you. And sometimes if there is a need, he can decide to help you and be there for you. And you take such a person for granted for somebody you don't know. Somebody who wants to deceive you and take something from you. And I, I ask myself a question. It looks like people don't like good pastors. You have to you have to develop a masterion mystical attitude am I teaching at all myself yeah <laughs> they rather use they rather they are rather used against those pastors let's order your man of God Matthew chapter 10 verse 41. I'm very sorry about the time today. May God bless you to have patience. Let me finish now. So look at it. It's an honor. <laughs> wow. If El is saying it's an honor, then it's an honor. Let's clap for El All right. So let's look at it quickly. If you receive a prophet as one who speaks for God, Listen to this very well. You will be given the same reward as a prophet. If you receive a prophet as one who speaks for God, 
you will be given the same reward as a prophet. And if you receive righteous people because of their righteousness, you will be given a reward like theirs. So, if you receive me, that God has sent me to you, when you receive me in a way of honor, receive him in a sense of honor, receive him with a sense, her with a sense of honor, him with a sense of honor. Papa said that today, uh, uh, Reverend Rita is preaching, she is preaching, or this one is preaching. Because I send the person, the honor you accord me must be accorded to the person. You don't carry your Bible and go. You don't carry your Bible and go, oh, where there was more bacana yenti be that nyanya what you then ya moon conco bit manam no so emma aka that is what is more important. Am I making sense at all here? Yes. So your pastor is the gate, but your honor is the key. I was in the flight when I was coming. I was going through my note. I heard the Holy Ghost say to me, He said, Do you know that every man of God is a gate? Your honor determines the size of the gate, not how I have made the person. I said, Wow. Tomorrow, I'm sending a sacrificial seed to my spiritual father. Is it because I have money? No. It is when I don't have, I start thinking and God will say, so, 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 so that he will have mercy and bring me harvest. Because if what I have cannot help me, then I must plant it. Who am I communicating with? unlock the grace in your man of God by seeing him as a man sent by God. So the way you treat him is the way you are treating God. Okay, so Alice, you will come back. No, you have suffered. Let me use uh, uh, you are right. Come. So go to Collins. So why are you getting on? You see, you see, it's a spill of information. So he's going to come and tell you what I said. Now, what is he doing now? What is he doing? No, no, let him leave there. Come to the altar. The same instruction, fulfill the... I want them to see you. question here is, who gave him the money? You gave me the money. Who gave him the money? I gave him the money. But who gave you the money to be given to him? You gave me the money to be given to him. Who gave you the instruction to be given to him? You gave me the instruction to be given to him. Do you even know why I told you to tell him to sit on the ground? You just delivered the information. And when he obeyed, you gave the reward. You have done your part. The rest is in my hands. To let him know why I told him to sit on the floor. So every messenger carries a message. When the message is delivered, the rest is in the hands of the one who sent him.
You may be seated. Um, we will talk. Let me finish this quickly because of time. We will continue this, this uh, illustration some other time before we... Don't forget, because I have not finished. I need to bring three more people to do something. Are you here? How many of you have learned something from this illustration? Very important. So you see an usher say that, come and sit there. say, no way. No, 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 I can't say that. Ah! The fear quiet. Either I sit you or I go back. Which one do you want? Oh, sir, please then sit uh, sir, start then sit there. Do you know who you are disobeying? Not the usher. Not the host. You disobeyed me. You disobeyed God. Hebrews 5, 4. Sorry, you know today I started teaching very, very late. So forgive me. Hebrews 5, 4. And no one can become a high priest simply because he wants such an honor. Look at it. When I became a pastor fresh, I wore one shoe for seven years and one trousers. It was blue black trousers. The trousers knew my first and my last name. I mean, even if I was lost and you find the trousers, the trousers will say, I know where he is because wherever Dura Plaza go, go, water go flow. Wherever Apostle is, that trousers is there. So when they say wash and wear, it's not a name of a, it is, it's an attitude of limitation. Yeah, you wash in the morning, sometimes it is not dry. Then we will say, what the onion, the day name of, hey, you are removing, you are removing all the water that is inside and throw it away. It was a level. If you dishonor a man because of his today, you will regret because of his tomorrow. Today, I don't know what to wear. And it's not pride, though. I have finished suffering. Yeah. Some time ago, I gave about 75 suits out. I've given 100 suits out. I believe I have more than 100 or more suits, even with what I have given out. I'm not too sure. I don't know how many suits I have. I don't know how many. I mean, my the one who takes care of my wardrobe is the one who decides which one I should wear. But there was a time what to wear was a problem. Don't honor people because of where they are. Honor them because of who they are. Clap your hands if you can. Because of who they are. No one can become a high priest simply because he wants such an honor. He must be called by who? By God for this work. Just as Aaron was. Osman, with the things I've been through in my life, you think if I'm not called, I'll be standing here? Search an honor. Search an honor. Search an honor. It's only God who bestow upon a man. Watch this. Elders who do their work well. Watch this. Elder, let's all everybody read together. Let's read together. Let's go. Elders who do their work well should be respected and paid well, especially those who work hard at both preaching and what is in the Bible. They should be paid well. I mean, you are looking at me like, wow. I didn't know all these things are in the Bible. Though. They are in the Bible. In giving material honor, you, you, have, you have reference to God, to command God's remembrance. It is done. I have um, about two more slides and I'm done. Because I have all my this in my head. Are you listening to me? So there is nothing you lose when you find yourself honoring your pastor and your parent. You don't lose nothing. You don't lose nothing. Sometimes call your mother and say, Mommy, thank you so much for giving birth to me. 
I know you did not have a lot, but you tried for me. I am very grateful, Mama. Please pray for me. And watch how your life will be like. Sometimes, just get some small money and send it to your mother and say, Mommy, you know, that thing has not happened, but the little I have, Mommy, please take this. Daddy, please take this. You know, some fathers, <laughs> uh, we have problems. But have mercy on us and remember us. As long as we are bad fathers, we also have good fathers, like me. Do you like the way I speak tree? Yeah, very nice. I speak the best tree ever. Yeah, clap your hands for me. I stayed in Atonsu Bokuru. I ate Diehuru until I got Osa. Yeah, the church I went to pastor, there was the, 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 the pastor's uh, 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 mother wanted to kill me. Yeah. Every morning, Dehru, evening, Dehru, morning, Dehru, and I never knew they put a kafa, kemu, or something inside. And Dehru almost killed me until I started running away from Kumasi. I said, God, may I never die. My destiny is bigger than Dehru. From that day, I've never eaten Dehru again. What man has gone through? After passing for how many years? They sacked me without giving me one Ghana city. One Ghana. Never broke away, never did anything. And look at where I am. The ways of God. The ways of God. The ways of God. Whatever you are going through cannot be compared to where God is taking you to. And I tell you, you will get there. The one who shouted him and I say, you will get there. I say, you will get there. I say, you will get there. Lift up your voice and give the Lord a shout of praise in this house. Yeah. So the last slide, like I told you, you will lead us in prayer. Give George a microphone. You will lead us in prayer right now. Yeah. So be deliberate. Be what? Be deliberate. What are you supposed to be? Be deliberate about honoring. About what? Honoring. Be deliberate. Be deliberate. The word you say, you will honor. Be deliberate about honoring. And get elevated by the mystery of honor. Never joke with the voice of your father. Never joke with the voice of your mother and your father. Children, obey your parent in the Lord for this is right some ver version says respect them some version says reverence them some version says take heed to what they say for it is the right thing to do I've pastored you for about five years and I have never led you out of the way of the Lord and I tell you this today as you begin to change your attitude towards honor, may God honor you before men. God richly bless you. Stand on your feet as we pray for about five minutes uh, with Brother George quickly.